Hey guys, if you're having issues with your Wi-Fi on your Asus laptop, so whether you're just not able to connect or you're not getting this Wi-Fi adapter symbol down here, or whatever the reason, this video is going to show you exactly how to fix that. So the first thing you're going to need to do to fix your Wi-Fi is come over to the start menu and search for control panel, then just head over to the control panel window. From here, we're gonna come over to network and internet and then select network and sharing center. Come over to change adapter settings from the left hand side and then from this list you just need to locate your wi-fi or the network that you're currently connected to obviously if you don't see your network in this list then you can just move on to the next step if you do find your network inside of here then what we're going to do is just right click on our network come over to disable and select this and then right click again and select enable once you've done that just give it a couple of seconds to reconnect and then we're going to right click again on this network come over to properties come down to internet protocol version 4 and select this come inside of properties and at the bottom here we need to select use the following DNS server addresses and then we're going to type in 8888 and 8844 now this will connect to Google's public free DNS servers so just go ahead and press OK click on close and lastly whilst we're still in this window right click on your Wi-Fi again and select diagnose and then it just go through the steps on the troubleshooting screen here to try and diagnose any issues with your Wi-Fi. Once you've tried these three steps, you can check to see if that's fixed the issue. Otherwise, move on to the next method. So the next thing we're going to do is just close out of here and we're going to come back over to the start menu and search for device manager. From here, we're just going to go ahead and update our network adapters. So to do this, we need to come down to network adapters and expand this drop down and then just locate your Wi-Fi adapter from this list down here now mine is this intel wi-fi one yours might be labeled something slightly different it usually has wi-fi in the name so just go ahead and right click on this and come into update driver now if you are connected to the internet then just press this top option here search automatically for drivers if you don't have an internet connection then we're just going to go ahead with this bottom option browse my computer for drivers click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then just go ahead and select this top option here and press next and that's going to go ahead and install those drivers onto your PC. So once you've done that, we can close out of this window. Then the next thing you're going to do is come back over to the start menu, search for CMD, and then you need to right click on the command prompt and make sure to run this as an administrator. Inside of this window, we're just going to type in the following command, net sh space winsock space reset, and then hit enter. And then finally type in IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Then once again, close out of this window and check to see if that's fixed the issue. If that still isn't working, another thing we can do is head back over to the start menu, search for services, and then click on the services window. From this list of services, we need to come all the way down to the bottom and you're looking for something called WLAN auto config right at the bottom here. So just go ahead and double click on this service. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic and make sure the service status is set to running. You can just press the start button here if it's stopped and then go ahead and press apply and okay. Then lastly, we're gonna close out of this window, come back over to the start menu and search for settings, click on the settings window and from the left hand side, select network and internet, come all the way down to advanced network settings, come down to network reset and click this and then go ahead and press reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Press yes. And once you've done that, you will need to go ahead and reconnect to your internet. So you'll need to re-enter the password. So hopefully by following all of those steps, that's now fixed any network issues you are having. If you still are getting some kind of error, then the last thing I'd recommend doing is just coming over to your physical computer and unplugging anything currently attached. So all of the USB cables, all of the power, you want to remove these now from your computer. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and hold down the power button here. So this is gonna force the computer to shut down. So wait for all of the lights to turn off so you know that it's fully shut down. So once you've unplugged everything and the computer's fully shut down, what we're gonna do is come over to this power button here and just hold this down for 60 seconds. So this is gonna power back up the computer, but while you're holding this down, this is also going to reset everything like your Wi-Fi adapters and your Bluetooth cards. So just keep holding this down for 60 seconds like so and then when you fire back up your computer hopefully that now should have fixed any network issues if you did find this video useful then please let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one